Welcome back to the very last installment of The Lost Tapes. I hope it's the last one. I hope I don't go back in and dig up another video. I might. Who knows? This could be a thing. So, The Lost Tapes. This is stack number three of the DVD and Blu-ray update. Uh, the epic DVD and Blu-ray update. And it's got so much more stuff in it. It's uh things like I, I talk about a lot of different movies uh that i was watching in like 2014 15 and 16 so enjoy What's up you guys? Welcome to another Stash 05 video. Today we're finally concluding the epic Blu-ray and DVD update stack number Triss. Now, I don't know if you can see it because this microphone's in the way. This stack is tall. This stack scares me because I feel like they're all going to fall down and I'm going to have to... I'm going to be very upset because we got some steel books in here. We got some you know tv show box sets so a little bit scared but let's just get on with it now i just kind of want to get these off of the stack before they all fall so i'm just gonna start off with this these films or these this tv show Ooh. okay so not in any order because they're all kind of out of order at the moment uh we have Game of Thrones. Now, I was never a fan of Game of Thrones up until this past year. And I binge watched everything. Like, everything Game of Thrones. It's incredible. I freaking love this show so much. In fact, look at how beautiful this case is. Look at how beautiful and glamorous like I should this should be oh my goodness that is beautiful anyway I love Game of Thrones so that's season four this one is season three I believe yes season three uh, these I got them at Walmart unfortunately because I really wanted to get like the the uh, cool set from from uh, Best Buy but of course I bought I barely bought these like this year so there's no way I was gonna be able to find some of those uh, but as you can see Game of Thrones it's a gorgeous packaging uh, this is season two of Game of Thrones beautiful like just look at how beautiful that pops off uh, Game of Thrones just gorgeous the way it looks that's gorgeous right there and uh, the inside I put all the backings to it so they're all in there gotta move these a little bit real quick just to show you Ooh, okay we have sorry season five um this this thing is gorgeous i mean the packaging alone is always really beautiful and all these uh if you guys have not seen this show i highly highly recommend it it is one of my it's like the best show you can watch right now you know like i always thought that after breaking bad was over it was it was gonna be over like i wasn't gonna watch anything else anymore and of course i found i found uh this show and thank god because it is incredible let's see uh season one now season one i think a lot of people said they didn't like it i i loved it like i was so entrenched in the the story and then you <laughs> You, you see, um, you know, Ned Stark, played by Sean Bean. And if you know anything about Sean Bean, I'm just going to not say anything. Uh, but, incredible show. So, I have seasons 1 through 5 of Game of Thrones. 
Very, very awesome show. Check it out if you guys haven't seen it. Incredible. Uh, the next couple things are actually uh, my my old roommate was in town this past weekend, and he uh, he said he was getting rid of some of his Blu-rays, and I was like, "What do you? Why? Why? Why?" I don't know. He he's just I don't know. <laughs> so he gave me a couple of them, and I am grateful for that. Thank you very much, Carlos. Yes, you're you're you the real MVP. Anyway, I got Shallow Grave Criterion. Um, Danny Boyle's first film, I believe. This uh, I haven't seen it. Um, I remember he was watching when back when we were living together. He was watching it, and uh, I decided not to watch it for whatever reason and he loved it but i'm not really sure why he got rid of it so i'll be watching this pretty soon another danny boyle film trance now this one i didn't get to see and i really wanted to this one looks trippy um now i'm trying to think if this is the same one where he's like a junkie or maybe I'm thinking of a different movie. I'm not even sure. I think that's a different movie. I don't. I don't really know, actually. Uh, but I think McAvoy is like a junkie. That might be a totally different movie. So I'm not really sure. <laughs> but uh, you know, I love me some Danny Boyle, and I'll definitely you know give this a watch. <clears throat> Last thing he gave me. Um, Oh, other than like a movie I've already had before, uh, I just really wanted the slipcover. Uh, he gave me the steel book for the Evil Dead. This is the remake. I actually didn't see this movie. Um, I really wanted to see this in theaters. I remember I was supposed to go with this one chick, and we were all living in Albuquerque, and I don't know what happened. We were supposed to go though, and then I don't know. Yeah, so whatever oh well uh steelbook anyway yeah uh really awesome steelbook let me get some of these pamphlets out of the way so you can see the inside of it beautiful um really really looks really cool i love i love the original sam raimi evil dead so i don't know how this is gonna hold up but look at that image, man. Like, that is striking. That is haunting. That is scary. And, of course, the, you know, I think that's pretty awesome. And I love the, the lettering. I, I, I want to say that that's the same lettering as uh, the font. I mean, as, like, the original Evil Dead. Or it's similar. It, it looks really cool. Uh, next thing, one of my uh, favorite movies of this year so far it's really fun. It's really funny. Deadpool, Steelbook. Now, I did a video review of this on the other channel, uh, on Nerdfellas. And where I go off on a little bit of a rant because... the Okay, maybe for some people it doesn't matter. To me, it's a little bit of... I don't know. I like having my things uniform. Like, I like having things in order. It look like where it looks really nice and all that stuff. Okay, so this is where I was having problems with here. This is the opposite way. It should be like this. Most movies have it like this. Let me let me just give you an example here, okay? Here's two steel books, right? Back to back and everything, right? But See how Evil Dead goes and then Deadpool's like backwards or upside down or whatever? That's what I had a problem with. But uh, my, the excuse I gave it was that Deadpool is fucking with us and it's kind of like he's playing a little joke on us. And I'm like, okay, that's kind of funny. If it was any other movie, I think I'd be upset. But because it was Deadpool, you know, whatever. But that's an awesome... That's an awesome cover. I love the inside of this. You know, back to back to having steelbooks with like inside artwork, and that's something I feel like has been lacking in some of these other steelbooks. But you know, I love that. I love that. It looks really cool. But anyway, 
next thing I got I found this at um a big big lots for like a dollar or two dollars and I was surprised because these were movies I've been looking for for a long time and I could never find them and whenever I did they were like oh I don't know if I want to spend 10 bucks right now they're like three bucks so I got uh, never let me go I still haven't seen it but I just recently got it um, Check out your, if you guys are living in the U.S., check out your local uh, Big Lots. They they have some really good Blu-rays there It's and DVDs and TV shows. It, so I'll show you some other stuff I got there. Uh, but like I said, le Never Let Me Go, a movie I've been wanting to see for a while. Uh, the other one was uh, Marthy, uh, Mar <laughs> Marthy. Marthy, oh my goodness gracious, it's late guys, I'm sorry, Martha, Marcy May Marlene, uh, I haven't seen this, but I've heard it was great, uh, it's got uh, Elizabeth Olsen, the only Olsen that can act, uh, in my opinion, but yes, I, look, I think it looks really good, I've heard it's really good, so we'll see, I guess. The, the other two I also got at uh, Big Lots, and I don't remember how much I got them for because it's been a while, but <laughs> don't judge me right now because I love Kat Dennings. Like, Kat Dennings is my favorite person in the world. I love her so much. But anyway, I got seasons one, uh, two and three of Two Broke Girls. I... I, I I have the first season um, already, and then I was like, hey, well, look, they got season two and three here. Might as well pick them up. Really cheap. I really like, I really like this show. Um, but yeah, like I, I I watched it when it first came out, and and I really liked it. So yeah. Uh, another movie which is incredible, and haunting and amazing nightcrawler now i've had this for a long time now like I, I bought this when it first came out but it's been a while since i've made a video like this so that's why you're seeing it now but no it's it's awesome i i was actually kind of hoping that there would be like a steelbook for this one uh because this this movie is incredible i remember i saw it in theaters by myself the, the theater was empty. I went in by myself. And <clears throat> I can kind of compare it to the first time I saw The Dark Knight. Now, the first time I saw The Dark Knight, I saw it in a filled room with you know hundreds of people. Um, and the first time I saw The Joker gave me chills. Like, it was creepy. I, I kept looking over my shoulder just because I felt so creeped out. And it was amazing. And... And I got the exact same feeling when I saw this movie. Except I was in an empty theater. And the whole time I just kept kind of like, oh man. I, this, this, this is the way movies end up where like you die. It's, it's insane. I, it's such a, it's such a scary film that I loved it so much. Um. Uh, Another one here. We got Wreck It Ralph. This movie is awesome. I I'm hoping that they're making a sequel to this because this is one of my favorite films, uh, animated films in the last I don't know five years. Um, although I do like a, a couple of those uh, how, how to Train Your Dragon. Those are great, but how, Wreck It Ralph was amazing, and I don't understand why. They haven't made more yet. Because this came out like in 2012 or 13. I want to say. It's been a while. So hurry up Disney. Get on it. I mean I know you're busy with Marvel and Star Wars. But you know. Wreck-It Ralph deserves a sequel too. So Wreck-It Ralph. A movie. Okay so some of these I haven't seen. Okay but. Um. Julianne Moore won her Academy Award for this, I believe, last year, 2014. 
or 15 oh shit what year are we in yeah <laughs> 15 for still alice um i haven't seen it but i've heard it's amazing i heard people cry i am probably gonna be one of those people that cry because i love sad movies i love great you know independent films i love I don't know. I love movies, and I feel like this one's going to make me cry. So, I'm looking forward to crying for that. Yeah, anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, Jurassic World uh, came out last year. I remember I saw it in theaters, uh, in IMAX. It was, um, look at that. Look at how freaking nice this cover is, though. Seriously, it's really nice. It's a really nice looking cover. I was kind of hoping that there's these still books, but there weren't. In fact, I think they're like these circular cases. I, I wasn't feeling that at all, so I didn't even bother. Um, I didn't like that. But I really, I really enjoyed this movie uh, for what it was. I saw it in theaters um, on like that Sunday, the Sunday of the... Uh, the, the like the week that it came out and oh my god there was a line out the door there's a line out the door just to watch this movie um it's incredible i mean i bought my tickets online and i i didn't even bother with any of that like i wasn't about to stand in line for some tickets but i saw it in imax the way to see it it was it was really really cool to see that. So, you know, like I felt like a little kid again. Another film, um, of course, Paul Walker's last film uh, that he actually filmed, um, Furious 7. Uh, it's fun. It's fun. It's sad. It's it's a lot of it's a lot of different things, but it it really went out um, in a great way. Uh, and I know they're continuing. Uh, and I thought. I, th I mean, I have fun with these movies. Like, I'm not expecting any, like, Academy Award-winning level performances here. But it's really great to see uh, the, like, people just having fun. That's what it, this is, you know? So, uh, I think it was last episode that I had said I had Arrow. This is season two. Um, I have season one, but it's in my shelf already, and I forgot to pull it out. But... Arrow season two, I still haven't seen it. Um, I heard this is a really great show, like the first two seasons. So I'm hoping to, you know, see it soon. Still haven't seen it, guys. I'm sorry. Another one, uh, The Rock. Now, <laughs> speaking of movies, I haven't seen yet. I haven't seen this yet. Uh, but it's Michael Bay. Um, you know, so I'm not expecting anything, but. They, they, a lot of people say that this is their favorite Michael Bay film. So I'm fully expecting something better than what I've seen from him. Although I do, I do like, uh, that one, uh, that he did. Oh my God. What's it called? The Island, the Island. That's a good movie, man. Like I really like the Island. I think it's really good. Um, it, 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 it it's kind of it reminds me of like THX 1138 a little bit but yeah um the road cut of x-men days of future past now i did watch the new x-men film and if you want to hear my thoughts on it we did a review on it over at my other channel called nerd fellas with uh, a couple of guys uh and you know for what it was, it's okay, but when you put out a film like this, and even the road cut, like it, it the the movie doesn't really change all that much. All it really does is is a a role gets kind of split into two different people, and 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 Rogue basically kind of takes over Kitty Pride's role. Yeah, I mean nothing changed in the movie for me. The movie's still great. Uh, I thought this was pretty good. I really like this slipcover. Especially seeing it in this lighting. Jesus. Man, that is really nice. That's freaking awesome. Okay, uh, anyway, sorry. <laughs> um, but, I mean, I loved, I freaking loved Days of Future Past. 
I thought it was great. Oh, I didn't even notice there is a input here. Look at that. That's freaking nice, man. That is beautiful. Like the way it catches the light. I love that glossy finish on this on this here. Um the other movie I got. Now you've seen you're going to see this twice on here because I have an addiction and I'm a double dipper, triple dipper. And that's, you know, the sad truth. But uh, Interstellar, I bought this mostly because I wanted the film cell and I wanted to get something cool. So I bought Justice League, Gods and Monsters. In fact, where the heck's the other one at? Oh, did I already do that one? Yeah, I did. Uh, Justice League, Gods and Monsters. I don't even know where I'm at right now because I'm just so tired. But this was like an Elseworld type of story where Batman isn't Batman, Superman isn't Superman, Wonder Woman is not Wonder Woman. It's It was cool for what it was. It wasn't my favorite. I saw it once. I don't feel like I want to see it again. Uh, but, you know, for what it was, it was okay. You know? The cover, and, and I know that Bruce Tim had a lot to do with this. Um, I want to say that he, I want he might have directed it. No, he didn't. But the story, he wrote the story. So, uh, and I love Bruce Tim. Like I love Bruce Tim. He's he's the reason why I collect all these Batman the animated series figures and everything. The last movie before we get into our steelbooks, The Equalizer. Now, Denzel Washington and Antoine Fuqua. Now, they've never made a better movie than Training Day together. Although, this is pretty entertaining, to be quite honest. Like, I really enjoyed this movie. I didn't love it. Uh, a lot of people, for some reason, like really loved it. I really like this uh, slip cover. I think it's really nice. The way, like I said, it picks up light and everything. Uh, but, you know, the the movie was, was fairly entertaining. I feel like... So, it's funny because I, I, I was really into Antoine Fuqua back in the day. Like, as soon as I saw Training Day, I was like, oh my god, this guy's going to be amazing. Every movie I want to see that he directs. Then he really wasn't doing like the greatest movies. Uh, Brooklyn. I forgot the name of that movie. Something Brooklyn. Brooklyn Bridge or something like that with. Uh, uh, geez. Why can't I think today? Um, Richard Gere is in it. Brooklyn's Finest. Yes. Uh, Richard Gere's in it, and I forget who else, but I was like, you know, this is okay. It's not that great. And then he he comes out with uh, another film, and I, uh, I, I honestly can't remember right now, but I was just like, okay, you know, like, oh, Shooter. He came out with Shooter. I liked that movie a lot, but I thought, you know, okay, that's cool. And then I remember hearing about David Ayer, and his first one of his uh, the first time I ever heard about him was because I was so into Training Day, I wanted to learn more about it, watching the behind the scenes and all that. And he's actually the writer of Training Day. Then I was like, oh wow, I really like that. And then he he made a film called Harsh Times. Harsh Times is like one of my guilty pleasures. It's not the greatest movie, but it's so good. And then. Street Kings was like a miss for me, but then he comes right back with End of Watch, and then he does Fury. I know he did a, I think Sabotage. I didn't see that, but so I feel like David Ayer might might be a little bit of a better filmmaker than Antoine Fuqua, which is I, something I'd never think I, I never thought I'd say. But I am looking forward to Antoine Fuqua's The Magnificent Seven. You know, I love me some Denzel, and I do love westerns, so mashing that together that's gonna be awesome all right now let's get into the steel books uh, i think i got like 10 here so uh back during christmas break 
uh, I got Scrooged. Now, this is a film I'd actually never seen until, like, I bought it. And a lot of people love this movie a lot. I thought it was pretty good. Didn't love it, but it was pretty good. I liked it a lot. Um, a film that I actually haven't seen yet because I don't know if it's just because I've heard it was bad and I'm like, oh, I don't really know if I want to see it then. Uh, Spectre. Now, Spectre, it's really nice still book. I think it's, it's really, really classy looking. Um, it's very basic. You know, it just says 007 and the disc and that's it. But, like, that's not a movie I'm, like, rushing out to see. And I was really excited for it because we have, uh... We have uh, one of the best villains, uh, Hans Landa, you know, um, coming in. And, well, obviously his name is not Hans Landa. It's Christoph Waltz. I'm sorry, guys. I am, like, losing it today. But, yeah, Christoph Waltz is going to be the villain in this film. And, oh, my God, I'm so excited for this. And then I just hear it's a letdown. And I'm like, really? Like... One, I'm already not really that much of a fan of 007. Skyfall was fine, but, like, everything else is just, like, whatever. Like, I'm not a big fan of James Bond. So, but I was excited for this, and then people say it's not that great, so, eh, I don't know. It's kind of disappointing to hear that. But, of course, I'll judge it on its own merits. I think this is one of the classiest uh ones i have this isn't a steel book per se it's a metal pack it looks like but it's super elegant and beautiful like it doesn't even have the title on it it that's the front of it it's lawrence of arabia there we go lawrence of arabia and and, and you can see how different a steel book is from this like a steel book has the whole the whole thing oh come on focus there we go the whole thing and this this is kind of just hinged like like it's just two separate things and so I'm not a fan of that but I think this is really pretty really really nice Lawrence of Arabia and it's even got um, a signature at the bottom there Okay, so, you know, the inside is not, you know, not that great, but you do get this really nice uh, discs and everything. But, and like, I I know my dad loves this film, so I am really excited to see it. Lawrence of Arabia. All right, next one I got... We got Mission Impossible. Now, this is a film I'd actually would rather watch over over uh, Spectre or 007 or any of that stuff. It's Rogue Nation. Now, this is an awesome steelbook. I freaking love it. Um, the opening sequence of this film is incredible. Uh, the plane, it's, oh my god. You know, it's it's gorgeous. Now, this steelbook, it's, I think it's from Target or maybe Best Buy. It's one of those two because nobody else really has steelbooks ever. But that that's an awesome movie. I love that. Now, the other, the other uh, version of this is Interstellar. Now, like I said, I, ha I bought this like three different times and it's kind of sad. But I really enjoyed this film. I saw it in IMAX. It was incredible. It was, it was such an experience that I, I was in awe when I saw it. So, you know, I I freaking love this steelbook. I think it's really nice, the inside artwork. Um, I think it's just the field or the house. I don't really feel like taking all that out right now. Um, but yeah, I, I'm just glad that it actually has inside artwork. All right. Now, the next one. The next one is something I am not looking forward to watching. 
but I'm so curious to watch it because it was such a train wreck. And that's Fantastic Four. Now, this is the steelbook, and you're probably wondering why do you even have this film? I like I said, the, the okay. So the drama was so out of control. With if you follow any movie news or anything like that, fa- you know Fantastic Four was a mess. Like Josh Trank going crazy. And I, honestly, I kind of feel bad for the guy. Like all that pressure on on a guy who's like made a bunch like a couple of indie indie uh, films. And then you get like millions of dollars to make this one movie. Who won two other movies with the same title sucked already. Another one never even was supposed to come out. So Fantastic Four as like a franchise itself, like a name, has already been tarnished twice before this. This is just the third time and I don't even know... What's gonna happen next? It's it's really, it's really I don't, I don't know. But it's I haven't seen the movie. I've been wanting to see it because I know that it's gonna be bad. Now, this had this probably had potential to be really good. And look at this. What the hell is this? Seriously, that's weird. Like the disc art, like it just has a random square in the middle like it's weird i don't know anyway but i mean like the rest of it's pretty cool but what the freak man anyway like i said i kind of feel bad for josh trank i i um but then again like i don't feel like anyone did the thing they were supposed to do like josh trank shouldn't have done all that bad mouthing and all that i get it but you know, you should have, like, handled handled yourself a little bit better. And then, uh, at the other hand, like, the studio really should have... Like, if you're going to give someone... Hey, I want you to make this movie. I've seen your other movie. We really like it. We're going to make... We're going to have you do this new version of Fantastic Four. Then let them make the movie. Like, so... I don't know, man. Like, ugh, That's such a crazy story. I'm so interested in seeing like a documentary on it i doubt we'll ever see that but that's something that i would love to see because that's amazing uh one actually one of my favorite freaking movies from marvel not my favorite but it's it's in my top five i think uh if not it's like number six but it's it's awesome ant-man now you can see it's kind of like a uh it looks kind of like a uh it's called a hard little mini hard drive with a terabyte and uh it's really really nice and and right there you can kind of see them it's ant-man yeah look how little that is that's awesome i just love this steelbook um this one's definitely i remember this one for sure uh this is from best buy and i really loved it like i i i I think the movie was great uh, I think the uh, visuals were amazing in this. And even even though it wasn't directed by Edgar Wright, which I would have loved to see, I thought it was great. So Peyton Reed did a great job on that. I'm really looking forward to the next time we see Ant-Man. Like, the last time we just saw him was in Civil War. And I think he was, like, one of my favorite parts of that whole movie because it was so funny. But, Yeah. Uh, another Marvel movie, eh, this one, like, I liked it a lot, and then the second time I saw it, it just kind of, like, dropped a lot. Like, it was just not that, g- like, I, I liked it, but it wasn't great. Uh, talking about Age of Ultron, uh, we got the Steelbook from Best Buy, and there's two different versions of this. There was, uh, there was this one, and then there was the... Uh, Vision version, and this is the Ultron one, and I really wanted to get the Ultron one. I thought this one looked nicer to me, uh, although the other one's really nice too. The other one I want to say is like pink, and it's really nice though. I mean, look at that. It's I really like these steel books. Like <laughs> they really outdo themselves with some of these 
I think it's really cool. The inside there. Um, could have sworn there's a DVD copy, but I guess not. Anyway, we're almost done with these steel books, guys. Uh, a movie I thought was okay. I didn't like. Like, okay, here's another movie, Antoine Fuqua. I love you, but I just I don't know, man. Like, you haven't really done it for me. I guess because maybe Training Day was like up here for me, and then everything else has just been like. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. So, this is a good movie. Yeah, I'm not saying it's bad, but you know, it was it was okay, I guess. Ah, uh, Southpaw. Now, this one I actually found at Walmart. Uh, Steel Book. I was like surprised that they had a Steel Book. Uh, I don't know if it was exclusive, but it was. It's pretty cool to find you know something you're not expecting at Walmart. Look at that, how beautiful this steelbook is. Um, it's like, I really like the matte finish also. Although I do like the glossy ones as well. But I thought this was just like kind of perfect for, for this movie. And um, the inside, you can see here, you do have some artwork inside. Ah, it's so refreshing to see artwork inside of a steelbook. Because you, you really don't see that sometimes. Oh man, look at that stack. We still got three more to go. <laughs> All right, uh, here we got Lawless. Now, I saw this in theaters with a couple of my friends, and we love film. And this is just another one of those movies that I was like, wasn't expecting too much. I, at the time, I, I was like, okay, well, it's got, you know, Tom Hardy and, and, and Gary Oldman. And Shia LaBeouf, you know, like, that guy's been, like, all over. He's kind of crazy, but you know what? It was damn good. I really loved Lawless. Um, I hadn't seen it. I haven't seen it since the movie theater, so it'd be nice to go in and, and revisit the, the movie. And and speaking of, like, <laughs> steelbooks with no artwork, of course, there's nothing in there except for the disc itself. But... Yeah, I mean, I think studios, people who make these, you could do better, I think. You could do better. Ooh, I'm afraid that this thing is going to fall. Oh, man. One of my favorite steelbooks that I have is, I think I want to say it's from Target. It's Big Hero 6. Look at this beautiful steelbook. Oh, man. It's so gorgeous. It's red and so colorful, and it's Marvel. Um, not not like Marvel Studios, but it's a comic book from Marvel, I believe. But I love this thing. It's so nice. I even have the uh, Baymax pop. It's it's like in in the suit, so it's it's pretty big. It's up here up there somewhere, but um, it's really nice. It's this is in um, this is debossed, so it's. It goes in. It's really nice. The back, we have B-Max there hugging uh, Hero. And I freaking, I think this, mo this movie was so good. Just like Wreck-It Ralph was great. This was another great film. So you got the DVD and the Blu-ray there. But yeah, uh, if you guys haven't seen Big Hero 6, I highly recommend it. It's, it's for all ages. I think even as an adult, you'll enjoy it. Okay, last but not least, we have Mad Max, the original Mad Max. Now, I actually found this at uh, like a uh, one of those one of those uh, stores that are used. I don't know, man. Like you, it was a used copy, and I was okay with that because people just kind of bring in, and sometimes you can find really cool steel books or really hard to find movies that people usually don't know anything about and even the people there are like oh yeah whatever and like oh my god so this was one of those movies for me um because i i wanted to get this when it came out and then i just didn't i got the other copy instead and i think this is way nicer i think uh in fact it's even got 
like these postcards with some artwork in there uh, with George Miller uh, let me just show you the inside really quick now this isn't exactly a steel book because as you can see there like it the steel books don't make that noise and they don't I don't know it's it's really weird because it's even got like this really weird uh, inside but and then I don't think steel books go back this far like that's kind of like not <laughs> that makes me feel like it's gonna break but I don't think it will either way though I really like this it's from the inside it's really nice um, let me just show you those uh, postcards we have okay we have George Miller there directing the guy's amazing uh, he he made this back in like the 70s so it's incredible that he's still making an incredible films like Fury Road uh, the other one you have I think that's George Miller again I'm not really sure uh, in fact, the other guy might have not even been George Miller, but yeah, it's a really cool, um, oh, that was the other one, sorry, Mel Gibson, we got, I'm not even sure what that is, a truck, yeah, and, so yeah, like, it, it's just four little things, I don't know if that was all of them, but when I bought it, it was, they were still in there, I was like, oh, cool, so, Nice little added bonus for me. Um, but that's it, guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching uh, this epic third stack of movies, as you can see here. Uh, but, of course, um, I think I might be uploading this all together with the second one. Uh, like, second one will come out a day before, and then, like, this one will come out on the other on the next day. But because I, I haven't been able to do the other one. The other one I actually filmed it a couple weeks ago. I just never been able to upload it. So I'll you'll see like my hair change and stuff. But not really. Um, but yeah, th thank you guys for watching so much. Um, of course, follow me on you know Instagram and not really Twitter, but you can follow me on Twitter if you want. Uh, and on Facebook at Stash05. So yeah. Yeah, that's it. I'm really bad at these outros and, like, saying goodbye. It's just, basically, I don't want to say goodbye. It's kind of like I'll see you later. But, uh, okay, bye.